Hello friends, today I'm going to solve little bit problem number 1143, longest common subsequence. In this problem, we are given two text uh, strings, text 1 and text 2, and we need to find the length of longest common subsequence. So what's the subsequence? Uh, in a given string, if we remove one or two or even zero elements from characters from this string, and that would be the subsequence of the string and we need to keep in mind that while we are removing any character from a subsequence well basically that doesn't affect the relative order so a in a subsequence of a given string the relative order should remain the same now let's see how we could find the longest common subsequence so in these two given strings we need to find the longest common subsequence so we start from the first character which is a since we know both of these characters are equal right so the length of um, minimum length of our longest common subsequence would be one um, now what we do is we move on to the next two characters in the um, in the, these two strings and what we find here is b is not equal to c in that case um, there is a different combination we could uh, compare these two elements uh, these two strings so since we are comparing these two substrings right now between these two substrings b is not equal to c so what we could do is we could either compare um these substring so basically we are what we are doing is uh we are moving to the next element in the first substring and comparing c with this element or the another possible way is to uh, move to the next element in the second substring and compare this with the substring so we actually need to do both the cases to find the uh, maximum one but since we know in this case like we could just see uh, c is equal to c right so we will move in the to the next character in this first uh, string and then we see both of them are equal the length increases by one we move on to the next character we found a d and we know d is not equals to e so we move to the next character here and since both of them are equal our length increases by one and now our total is equals to three so using these um intuition what are we going to do is we are going to implement this using dynamic programming method so we need to keep in mind that we need to check uh, all the combinations of substring like we need to check this substring with this substring and since uh, we find that those are not equal then what we do is we check this substring with this one and also we need to check this substring with this as well so we are checking all the substring all the combinations of this substring to find the longest common um, subsequence now let's see how we could solve it using dynamic programming so in this problem uh, we are solving using dynamic programming so i have created a table of size um if at n1 and n2 are the sizes of these two string then the size of the table is n1 plus 1 and n2 plus 1 because we have an extra row column and an extra row here because we need the base cases here as well now what we do is we start from the first character of the both string and we see that both of them are equal right so what we do is we add the value of the previous diagonal element to our current uh uh, add that diagonal element uh, one so our value increases by one now what we do next is we also compare a with b uh, why are we comparing a with b you'll just know it in a while so we compare a with b and we know a is not equals to b so what we do is we take the maximum of uh, these two values here so which is maximum one is maximum right so we get a value one and again a with c 
So we compare it and we found that both of them are not equal. So we get the maximum of these two elements, which is equals to one here. Again, we compare A with D and then we get the maximum between one and zero, which is equals to one. Again, A and E and we find the maximum one. Now, what we do is we move to the next character in this sequence and we compare with the first character of this one so these two are not equal so we get the maximum between these two values here and the maximum value is equals to one again we compare b with c and then we get the maximum value between these two elements which is equals to one so now you see i guess uh, why are we using these base cases here because to find this value right and in the next step here now comparing c with c both of them are equal right so we take the diagonal element and then we add or to add a value one so the result becomes equals to two so why are we actually taking the diagonal element if you would uh, look at this example here so what we did is when we found both the characters were equal um, in our intuition uh, we moved to the next element in both the characters right so a b c d and e we have something like this and we have a c and e so when we found that these two characters are equal we moved to compare c and b and where does c and b lie right in the diagonal uh, point right so that is why we are moving diagonally and what about like the um in case where um it's not equal so we are moving either left or right uh, i mean either to the right or down because we are comparing uh, this substring with this to find the longest subsequence and also that would be in this position and also we are comparing this substring with this to find the value this value here right that is what we did since b and c were not equal so we compared b c e with this substring and again we did the same with c e and c d e as well right so that is what we are doing so we could keep on moving and since uh, like I'll just fill in this because C is not equal and these two are also not equal. Okay, we get the maximum here. We put the maximum value here and then again AE. So the maximum is 1. It's 1 here and it's 2 here. Uh, 2 here and now E is equals to E, right? So we get the maximum uh, diagonal element and add a 1. The value result is equals to 3. So the result is stored in the last cell of the of our dp now let's just dive into our code so what do we need is let n1 equals to uh, text one that length let n2 equals to text two that length and then what we need is we need a dp equals to array of length n1 plus one and then or let i equals to zero i is less than and one plus one i plus plus what we do is we create a two-dimensional dp i equals to new array of length and two plus one all right so now we have our dp created now we need to do is compare each of the elements starting from i equals to one because in this dp we are not we in this dp this is index zero this is index one right this is index zero and this is index one and this is index zero and this is index one right this row so we we are starting from index one for both row and column because these we are filling with zero so yeah we also need to fill the uh, dp with zero value and then i is less than or equals to n1 
i plus plus four let i equals okay z equals to one j is less than equals to n2 j plus plus and then what we do is if both the elements are equal text one i is equals to text two it's actually it's not i it's i minus one here and j minus one if both the elements are equal both the characters in this text are equal then we take the diagonal element in the dp right so dp i j becomes equals to uh dp i minus one j minus one plus a one else what we do is um if not we take the maximum of the uh, maximum of either previous row uh, basically maximum here between these two elements right which is um, i j equals to mat max um, max between dp i minus one j same row but previous column and um actually this is a uh, previous row and same column or same row and previous column and we keep on doing this and then finally we return our dp at index n1 and 2 which is the last cell let's submit it now the time complexity here is o of n times uh, n1 times n2 uh, basically a uh, big o of length of text one and length of text two product of the these two length and the space complexity is also the same 